my students how are you all i hope you are all fine okay today we are going to start a new chapter fractions and decimals for the class 7 okay in the last class for the in the 6th only you have you will heard the basics of this uh, fractions and decimals up to extended topics we will uh, discuss in this second chapter for the class 7 okay next learning outcomes the topics which will we learn in this chapter and content items okay the learner is able to solve the multiplication and division of fraction in word problems what is the first point solve the multiplication and division of fractions in word, word problems by using multiplication and division of fractions we will solve the word problems okay use algorithms to multiply and divide decimals save solve problems related to daily life situations okay and the content items in this chapter are introduction 2.0 2.1 is multiplication and division of fractions in word problems 2.2 is multiplication of decimals 2.3 is division of decimals okay next in next introduction part we know that a part of a whole is a fraction we have learned different types of fractions so in earlier class you will already learn different types of fractions okay four fundamental operations on fractions decimal numbers addition and subtraction of decimal numbers in previous classes there are several situations in our daily life where we use fractions decimals and rational numbers some of the situations are shown in the special figures okay see here are the pictures which we will use in the daily life uh, related to fractions okay here is one pizza it is all of uh, eight parts and it is a one part of a eight i mean one by eight piece of a pizza this is a weighing machine digital weighing machine and this is a pen petrol bunk readings we will if you go to the petrol bunk you will see the readings on the on this place okay and it is a weighing digital weighing machine next we will start the review exercise see write the following fractions in ascending order what is the first section write the following fractions in ascending order this is the 1 2 3 here, here we can solve the fractions in ascending order see chapter 2 fractions and decimals first we will write the question write the following fractions in ascending order see write the following fractions in ascending order what we have to do you have to write the given fractions in ascending order ascending order is nothing but to write the form of the given fractions in from small to big see here first of all you have to see that all denominators are equal okay here numerators are different okay next what we will get first uh, 1 by 2 next 3 by 2 next 5 by 2 next 9 by 2 next 17 by 2 this is the answer for the first one next we will go to the second one here is the second one 6 by 5 11 by 10 19 by 5 7 by 10 5 by 10 here the denominator here denominators are 2 5 and 10 now we have to convert this 5 denominator into 10 okay first one 6 by 5 second one 11 by 10 19 by 5 7 by 10 5 by 10 to get the first number 6 by 5 for the denominator 10 we are multiplying with 2 okay then what we will get 6 to the 12 by 10 See for the second one. First, we have to find the fractions into decimals. Okay, six by five equals to one point two. Eleven by ten equals to one point one. Nineteen by five is equals to three point eight. Seven by ten is equals to zero point seven. Five by ten is equals to zero point five. Now we can write easily the descending ascending order of this series. Ascending order for these numbers. Ascending order for these fractions. Okay. Next. First of all, what we will get? Zero point five is the first one. Means five by ten. Next, zero point seven. Seven by ten. Next, 
next here 1.1 is there means 11 by 10 1.26 by 5 next 3.819 by 5 this is the ascending order of the given fractions okay second one is completed and the third one answer next see what is the question here is 8 by 3 7 by 6 3 into 1 by 4 5 by 3 11 by 4 for this also we have to find the decimals okay decimals into fractions into decimal fractions see here third one 8.3 is equals to 2.6666 okay next 7 by 6 is equals to 1.16666 3 into 1 by 4 we can write this is a mixed fraction now what we have to do we have to multiply and write 4 3s are 12 12 plus 1 13 by 4 3.25 5 by 3 is equals to 1.66 11 by 4 is equals to 2.75 now we can write the ascending order of these given rational numbers okay fractions given fractions next here for here is 1.16 here is 1.6 now first we have to write 7 by 6 comma 5 by 3 comma next here is 2.75 2.6 first 8 by 3 comma next 11 by 4 comma 3 into 1 13 by 4 this is the ascending order of the given mixed fraction and the fractions up to this first section is completed in the review exercise next we will go to the another roman see here second one calculate the following 3 plus 3 by 5 plus 7 by 4 5 by 6 plus 7 by 12 1 into 7 8 minus 1 by 5 4 into 1 by 2 plus 3 into 1 by 3 now we can write the first one second roman calculate the following okay 3 by 5 plus 7 by 4 solution what we have to do means 3 by 5 plus 7 by 4 for this we have to find the LCM least common multiple LCM of 5 comma 4 is equals to next see here next 5 ones are next 4 next 4 1 1 5 4 the 20 20 is the LCM of 5 comma 4 next 3 by 5 plus 7 by 4 equals to 20 is the LCM okay next 5 into 4 the 20 4 3 the 12 plus 4 into 5 5 7 the 35 okay see here in, we can write here another one step twenty five four the four into three here four into three plus five into seven you can write like this also next twelve plus thirty five by twenty what we will get forty seven by twenty this is the calculation of the given fraction okay first one is completed and the second one is 5 by 6 plus 7 by 12 second one next lcm of 6 comma 12 6 comma 12 is equals to 6 comma 12 with the three table we can find the lcm 3 2s are 6 3 4s are 12 next two table 2 1s are 2 2s are. we have to multiply 3 into 2 into 1 into 2. Next, what we will get? 3 2s are 6. 6 into 1, 6. 6 2s are 12. What we will get here? 12 only. And 5 by 6 plus 7 by 12 equals to LCM is 12. Next, 6 into 2. 2 into 5. 2 into 5 plus 12 into 1, 1 into 7, 1 into 7, 5, 2 5s are 10 plus 7 1s are 7 by 12, means 17 by 12, okay, second one is also completed, next third one, one into 7 by 8, here mixed fraction is given, we have to convert into fraction, 
and then we have to find the LCM. Okay. Next equals to 8 ones are 8, 8 plus 7, 15 by 8 minus 1 by 5. Now we complete completed the conversion of mixed fraction into a normal fraction. Now we have to find the LCM of 8 comma 5. LCM of 8 comma 5 is 8 comma 5. 8 into 5. Okay, 8 5 is the 40. 40 is the LCM. 40 is the LCM. What is the LCM? Next. Fifteen by eight minus one by five equals to forty is the LCM. Eight into five. Eight five is a forty. Five into fifteen. Fifteen into five or five into fifteen. Next. Five eight is a eight into one. Eight into one. That equals to. 95 minus 8 by 40. Next, 15 by the 75 minus 8 that is 87 by 40. Next, we will go to the another another question, last one, fourth one. Okay, 4 into 1 by 2. Next, fourth one is 4 into 1 by 2 plus 3 into 1 by 3. Now we have to find the calculate of this given fractions. Okay, mixed fraction. 2 4 is 8, 8 plus 1, 9 by 2, plus 3 3 is 9, 10 by 1, 10 by 3, 3 3 is 9, 9 plus 1, 10 by 3. Now we have to find the LCM of LCM of 2, comma 3. We will get 6. If we give any number multiple of any table, then we will then we will get the LCM easily. But two is three are two different numbers. They, these two are not multiple of each other. That's why we directly we will multiply two three is a six. Next we have to find we have to calculate the value nine by two plus ten by three is equals to six is the LCM. Two three is a three into nine. Three into nine plus next 3 2 is a 2 into 10 2 into 10 9 3 is a 27 plus 2 10 is a 20 by 6 47 by 6 what is the answer we will get 47 by 6 next Roman simplify the simplify the following simplify the following see here Simplify the following. Now we have to find the simplify the following. Okay, simplify the following. First one, one by four of three. One by four of three. Okay, means three by four. Next, 5 by 8 of 2 by 3. Solution, 5 by 8 of 2 by 3. Okay, 5 2 is a 10, 8 3 is a 24. 8 3 is a 24. This is the simplify of given question. Next, third, third one, 15 by 4 into 2 into 1 by 7. Solution 15 by 4 into this is a mixed fraction we have to convert into the proper fraction 7 2 is a 14 14 plus 1 15 15 by 7 15 15 is a 15 15 is a 225 by 28 next third one is completed next fourth one okay next fourth one what is the fourth one 3 into 1 by 3 into 2 into 2 by 5 okay solution 3 3 first 3 into 1 by 3 we have to convert this one in mixed fraction into proper fraction 
in the fractions two types of fractions will be there proper and improper okay 3 3 is a 9 9 1 9 plus 1 10 by 3 into 5 2 is a 10 10 plus 1 10 plus 2 12 by 5 12 10 is a 120 by 5 3 is a 15 up to this third roman is also computed next fourth roman calculate the following calculate the calculate the following three by four divided by three okay next see here solution calculate the following here is the division three by four divided by 3 by 1 for example now we have to consider this multiply uh, sorry division uh, symbol into multiplication means what we have to write here here numerator will be convert into denominator and denominator will be converted into numerator means we will get here 1 by 3 next 3 into 1 3 4 into 3 3 3 will be cancer answer is equals to 1 by 4 this is the calculation of the given division next the second one the 3 by 4 divided by 3 is completed and second one is 8 divided by 2 into 1 by 7 here mixed fraction is there we have to convert into the proper fraction 8 divided by 2 in 2 div 2 into 1 by 7 equals to 8 divided by 7 2 is a 14 14 plus 1 15 by 7 now we are converting this division symbol into multiplication then what we have to do what we have to write 7 by 15 we have to write 7 by 15 8 into 7 by 15 here it here the given uh, any multiples will be there means no 7 8 is a 56 56 by 15 okay this is the answer for the second one next the third one First of all, what we have to convert? Convert the question into multiplication form. 12 by 7 divided by 2 by 7 equals to 12 by 7 into 7 by 2. Okay, 12 into 7 by 7 into 2. Here 7 ones are 7 ones are 2 ones are 2 6 are. What is the answer we will get here? 6 is the calculation of this division okay up to this fourth roman is also completed review exercise is completed in the chapter next we will go to the another one see here we here are equivalent fractions containing one to nine digits only once see, see here two by six we will get two by six three by nine fifty eight by one by one hundred and seventy four next 2 by 4 is equals to 3 by 6 is equals to 79 by 158 next one uh, next we will go to the word problems here word problems of multiplication and division on fractions now we are going to learn the word problems multiplication and division okay we came across in many daily life situations where we need to use fractions let us consider some situations one day chandu asked his mother for chapatis for dinner what what is the chandu is asking a chapatis for his dinner she prepared 15 chapatis and served 3 by 5 of chapatis to chandu and his sister 1 by 5 okay she prepared 15 chapatis and she served 3 by 5 of 3 by 5 of chapatis to chandu and sister 1 by 5 of chapatis to chandu's father can you guess how many chapatis remain to chandu's mother now let us find total number of chapatis is 15 Next number of chapati served to Chendu and his sister is 3 by 5 of 15 means 3 into 3 by 5 into 15 means we will get 9. Next number of chapati served to Chendu's father 1 by 5 of 15 5 ones are 5 3 is a 3. Number of chapatis remain to Chendu's mother is equals to 15 minus 9 plus 3. 9 plus 3 is equals to 12 means 15 minus 12 that is equals to 3. How many chapatis did the Chandu's mother remained is equals to 3. Okay. Next example 1. Here one another one example is there. We will see. Here example 1 is there. 
in the school out of 180 students 4 by 9 students are boys and find the number of girls in the students mm, see in the school out of 180 students are the number of students how many 180 4 by 9 of students are boys 4 by 9 number of boys is equals to 4 by 9 of 180 what we have to write 9 4 by 9 into 180 9 ones are 9 twos are 18 0 2 0 we will get 20 okay 9 ones are 9 twos are 20 4 twos are 8 80 number of boys are 80 total number of girls we have to find means total number of students is it minus number of boys means 100 girls are there okay next example two if the cost of 22 into 1 by 2 kg of apples in a whole sale market is 1170 then find the cost of 5 kgs of apples here mixed fraction of uh, in is given we have to find the cost of 5 kgs cost of 22 into 1 by 2 kgs of apples is equals to 1170 okay first we have to find the cost of 1 kg then we can automatically we find the cost of 5 kgs see 22 by 22 into 1 by 2 kg of apples is equals to 1 in 1 170 rupees means cost of 1 kg is equals to how much rupees 1170 divided by 22 into 1 by 2 now this mixed fraction we will convert into proper fraction 22 into 2 44 44 plus 1 45 by 2 now this division we are convert converting into multiple multiplication means then what we will get numerator became denominator denominator became numerator okay then 45 by 2 becomes 2 by 45 now here multiplying what we will get rupees 52 cost of 1 kg of apple is equals to rupees 52 1 kg rupee cost 1 kg apple cost is 52 then cost of 5 kgs of apple is equals to 5 into 52 that equals to 260 rupees up to this example uh, explanation of example is over next we are going next in the next class we will go to the exercise part here are eight problems are there in the next class we will complete this eighth eight word problems okay i hope you understand the explanation of the chapter decimals fractions and decimals in the review exercise introduction part if you have any doubt please mention me in the comment box okay have a nice day please subscribe to my channel please share to others other students give a like button please uh, comment please comment me in the comment section thanks for watching